welcome back to another Species Spotlight. I'm Miss Nicole here in the front of the garden near our visitor center because this week's species that we're highlighting is the bird's nest fungi, which we've actually found several times here in the garden in this section in the leaf litter. But the reason that we chose this species this week is because it's our final week in our virtual summer in the garden, beginning botanist, week six, which is continued care. And a big part of continued care is composting. And the bird's nest fungi is actually a natural composter because it will survive on dead and decaying matter and it helps to break it down and decompose it. So it's a great decomposer. Now the bird's nest fungi you'll typically see in the soil in wet, damp areas. And it us usually grows in the leaf litter. Unfortunately, we haven't found any right now because it's more typical to see it in the fall. Um, so we're still a little early, but it's a really cool species, so I'm going to show you right now. And if you want to see more about what that species looks like, you can check out our virtual living lab or Google Classroom by registering for free at keywest.garden slash education. And this species is actually really interesting. So it's called the bird's nest fungi because it actually looks very similar to a bird's nest because it grows in a nest shape with eggs. Now, the eggs aren't actually real eggs, they're the fungi spores, and as we know, that's how a fungus reproduces with spores. So, what happens with these fungi is that water, like heavy rain, will drop into the nest part and splash up the eggs, and that's how the eggs can travel and disperse. So, the little eggs also have this cord attached to them and the cord flies with the eggs and it almost acts as like a game of tetherball where the cord will attach to maybe a blade of grass or a stick or something and the egg will kind of wrap itself around and then that little egg will dry up there and then that's how it will spread and it can spread up to four feet away from its location and typically fungus you'll see reappear in the same locations and um, it's, it's a really good fungus. It's actually one of the most beneficial fungus to have in your garden because not only is it beneficial as a natural composter, but it's also harmless to humans and wildlife, especially your pets at home. So if you see it in your garden at all, maybe in the fall time when it's um, thriving, it's a good thing and you wanna keep it around. So see you next week for another Species Spotlight and thank you for joining us for the last six weeks of our virtual summer in the garden.